time. Good morning, dear judges, fellow competitors, and all coffee lovers. Kevser is here. Unique process of Jezwe has always fascinated me. The art of Jezwe is a beautiful tradition that combines precision and patience. Today, I am excited to demonstrate my skills and share this tradition with you. Now, let's start with my simple Jezwe. I selected two Colombian beans because of their exceptional quality and unique attributes of the Jezwe coffee for this competition. The first coffee beans is from Inmaculada Farms which is 1850 meters above sea level. It's the natural anaerobic process of cafe genoides. The second coffee beans is from Nogales Farms, which is 1950 meters above sea level. It's the natural process of orange bourbon. I roasted these beans separately three days ago due to their different densities. As you know, this had a long mylar reaction with 7% developed time to resulting intense sweetness, fruity acidity, and liquor notes. Orange bourbon has a 14% developed time to give us richer body, smoother mouthfeel, and lime acidity. Blending this bean creates a new note like bergamot and multi-layer testing adventure. My blend ratio Precisely 1 to 1.3 for perfect balance. The intense sweetness of the edunoides complement the rich body of the orange bourbon. This blend celebrates the best characteristic of each beans, unique and delightful tasting experience for Jezwe coffee lovers. My, oh, okay. I am using WDT tools to break the coffee clumps. This is necessary consistent mixture of the water and coffee, leading to even extraction. These steps guarantees each brew delivers the highest quality taste and mouthfeel, showcasing my commitment to precision and excellence. My recipe uses 7.5 grams of coffee with 65 milliliters of the water and brewing time between one and a half to two and a half minutes. Starting with 60 degrees Celsius of water to the reduce the total extraction time. I am brewing my simple Jezwe using a gas heater, which lets me to control the temperature precisely. I slow down the heat at the end for good crema. Also, I check the heat with my hand to identical heat sources of two Jezwe. Today, you will use a thermometer to ensure precise drinking temperature of coffee at around 60 degrees Celsius for hot and around 50 degrees Celsius for warm. This is helping you to perceive the volatile compounds of the coffee in highest peak possible, enabling you to experience the full range of the flavors and texture this specific temperature. This process demonstrates our commitment to detail of your testing and sensor evaluation. And now, I am excited to introduce the cooling bowl technique, a groundbreaking method that revolutionizes Jezwe coffee. Cooling bowl in your cup slows extraction, allow me to finer grind without the fear of over extraction. The result is syrupy, more bodied brew, sweeter, and less bitter coffee. Also, less coffee particle in your mouth for cleaner testing experience. With this method, we allow you to evaluate the coffee boat hot and warm more quickly than before.
Dear judges, please evaluate the crema and follow my instruction. Please evaluate the crema, thank you. And please write down for test descriptions. You're going to get medium sweetness, medium acidity, medium to low bitterness. For tactile experience is medium weight, syrupy texture, long lasting finish, highlighting bergamot at the first, cacao nibs at the end. When your coffee is hot, you will drink with three sips, and you will get orange, coffee blossom, tropical fruit like mango, and cacao, with caramel. When your coffee is warm, you will drink it with two sips and you will be getting more floral character, tropical fruit like papaya, honey. Dear judges, right now, your thermometer around the 60 degrees Celsius, you can evaluate your coffee when it's hot. Enjoy. Are you ready to continue? Okay, five seconds more and then we can continue. So, I use a traditional copper jazzwe, which has been used, please don't worry, I will tell you when you will be evaluate the worm. I use a traditional copper jazzwe, which has been utilized for centuries. Copper heat evenly allow for precise temperature distribution and prevent any hot spot resulting in even extraction. This has helped me to brew perfect cup also, it is the honor to reach cultural heritage of the Jezve coffee. I choose a sand heater over a gas heater for my signature beverage. A gas, gas heater heat the quickly and adjustable, but sand heater offer more consistent and gentle heat distribution. It maintains stable drinking, temperature uh, perfect brewing. And also, for the water, the mineral contact of my water, use the brewing my coffee in the two parts of magnesium, one part of calcium, and one part of alkalinity sources with 150 ppm. Magnesium and calcium contribute to richness and complexity brew. Alkalinity balance the acidity and give us the smooth, well-rounded taste. After brewing my signature Jezwe, I use a fast paper filter to remove the coffee grinds. Also give me the smooth and cleaner texture. I am using cooling bowl in my filter dripper to reduce the uh, slow down to extraction as I did for simple Jezwe. This step ensures the consistency and creates a seamless link between two of my drinks. Additionally, cooling bowl in these vessels cool down our coffee fastly without adding water. Dear judges, right now, your thermometer around the 50 degrees Celsius, you can evaluate your coffee when it's warm. Enjoy.
So, are you ready? Let's start with our signature beverage. I crafted a purpose beyond simple enjoyment. This is not just a cocktail you sip in the party. It is a conversation starter, a drink meant to be shared with friends. My goal is to elevate the experience of the Jezwe coffee, where the drink itself becomes the centerpiece of the conversation. I prepared three different ingredients for my signature beverage. First, 25 milliliters of the chamomile infusion. I mix it, chamomile, grapefruit skin, cascara, and water, with ratio of one, two, four, and 15 parts. Let it infuse the 24 hours to extract the floral and citrus notes. This is remake the traditional herbal therapy recipe, providing a calming aroma and delicate the sweetness. Also, transfer the, our coffee blossom to jasmine. Next, 10 milliliters of the bergamot cordial. I prepared dry bergamot skin, citric acid, sugar, and water with ratio of one, two, 25, and 50 parts. This mixture gently heat it and mix it 30 minutes to extract the vibrant acidity. The cordial give us the bright, zesty layer, also transfer the our orange notes to orange zest. Next, one gram of koji sauce. I fermented rice with aspergillus mold for two weeks to create a rich umami test. This process rooting the Japanese tradition pro to bring a umami touch and rounding out the flavors with future forward approach. With this ingredient, we transfer the, our uh, caramel notes to sugar candy. And also, we create a new notes like apple juice and white grape. Finally, our beautiful Jezwe coffee, which follow to our simple Jezwe. I use 14 grams of coffee with 121 grams of water and was brewed with sand heater, based from our signature beverage. I stirred all ingredients together to ensure the aroma are well blended and without losing the any characteristic aroma. To serve our signature beverage, I am using Ehli Cave. This device keep your glasses cold and maintain stable drinking temperature over hours. It is inspired by tradition roots, and I am adding modern twist to our signature beverage. The Ehli Cave is my last touch to blending tradition and future of the coffee. Dear judges, please don't drink yet and write down for test descriptions. You're going to get medium sweetness, I'm sorry, medium plus sweetness, medium acidity, and pleasant low bitterness. You have to drink with three sips, and you will be getting apple juice, white grape, jasmine, and sugar candy. Dear judges, today I use a new tools and equipment to make sure every cup is just right without losing the any special taste that makes Jezwe coffee unique. With my each brew, I keeping the old traditions alive and while embracing the future of the coffee. Now, you can evaluate the, your signature beverage. Enjoy. This is Kevsar and representing Turkey, and this is my time. Woo!